Hey there, yarn lovers, it's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, June the 19th, 2022, and this is video number 148. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I just want to wish all the fathers out there happy Father's Day. Today it is Father's Day here in North America, and... I'm recording it quite late on the Sunday, so I'm not sure when I'm going to post it. I've got a feeling that editing and that it might post somewhere, somewhere after Father's Day in the week to come. So I'm, I've got a few videos to catch you up on. All of the purchases of yarn over the April, May and a bit of June that I've received. So I will be cutting them up and also uh, posting them throughout the course of the next couple of weeks. But as you can tell by the title down below, I am recording my purchases from two online stores which are situated in the United States. One is called Little Knits down in Washington and the other one is called Webs which is sometimes referred to as yarn.com. They're the same website uh, that sell uh, the Webs yarn. So. I uh, jumped at the chance of shopping Little Knits because generally when I'm looking at Little, Little Knits' site, it's quite a hefty postage fee for shipping to Canada, but they had a really good deal back in April on some Malabrigo. They were discounting Malabrigo line by 25% off. And generally the hanks of yarn are $19.99 US, but with the 25% discount, they were dropped down to $14.99. And I thought the savings with the what I had purchased in the collection made up for the expense that uh, shipping was going to uh, cost for me to get these up to Canada. So I thought, yep, jump at it, jump at the chance and get some of these colours that are just brilliant. So it came in this uh, plastic bag. And I got four hanks of a line, which is called the Arroyo line. And it's a DK weight yarn or a three weight yarn. And I absolutely love this yarn. It comes in solids, but then there are some tonals and some multicolors. So it does have a variety of different styles of yarn that you can uh, pick up in this collection. So the one I'm holding here is in the colorway 415 and it's called Matisse Blue. Now Matisse is a painter from the early 1900s and uh, he was alongside the folk that started abstract art and he does a lot of like na nature shots and decor and uh, dancing figures uh, in these really bright colors. So this is <laughs> aptly called Matisse Blue. I love it so much and it's so squishy soft. Now let me tell you a little bit about the content of this. It is a DK weight yarn. 100 grams you get 335 yards or 306 meters and it's 100% superwash merino wool manufactured and made in Peru. It's saying here you can machine wash this in cold water and gentle cycle. Do not tumble uh, and to dry flat. So they are asking for some drying flat. So it's not one that you put into the tumble dry. So absolutely love it. It has a lovely shimmer to it, almost like a sheen. I wouldn't say it's too shiny but it's probably somewhere not matte but a pearly kind of finish to it. I really like it. Now I'll show you a different variety in the range that isn't solid but it is more of a tonal and here it is here. Awesome it's just beautiful. Now this one is called 120 Lotus and I love this. It's kind of like a silvery purple gray and I think this will work up really nicely. Maybe not with the electric blue but you never know. There could be a pattern that has slip stitching or sections or blocks of different color in the design work that would relate nicely to, to the two of these going together. Another 
aspect of the yarn in this category is a multi. Now here I've bought two of the same. Oh no, they're not the same, sorry. They look very much the same. This is a multi and it got, runs from like a, kind of like a, a brown and earthy colors, greens, and it sort of like variegates between all the colors that are in here nicely in a gentle gradation and it's called Pidris, Pidris, I'm sorry, I think a lot of these names are uh, Spanish, and it's 862. Now they are suggesting here to use, I mean you always use the tools that the pattern calls for, and also with your tension and gauge swatch, but they're saying here that this DK weight is good for a US 3 to 5 or a 3.25 to 4 millimeter set of knitting needles. I, I believe it's knitting needles and I would assume that maybe you add on another half a millimeter or a size up in crochet. So lovely and soft. This is probably my favorite color. And then they have this one here, which is a color called Coffee Toffee. 47. And those are the colors in that one. Just amazing. If you look closely, it does have some type of uh, heathering in the color as well. It's not a, a pure saturation. So there are some sort of little flecks and speckles in there of different colors. And I think these two would go really nicely together in a autumnal type of color work. And I've got some others that I'm pairing with this idea in mind using these two colors and I've got them in the next bag. So those are all that I got from Little, Little Knits. And again, they were $14.99 with the discount of 25% off of the range per hank. And just to run through some of the figures on shipping, it was $33.65 to ship these four skeins over the border into Canada from Washington State to British Columbia, which isn't a, f um, a far way, uh, talking in ge geographic sense, but it is across a border. And um, so I think they have to... Um, the shipping needs to be considered for border crossing and customs and so forth. Now, I was fortunate I didn't have to pay any additional taxes or duties, but I'm sure that it, its certain uh, value is of, above and beyond a certain range for it to be duty free, then um, I would have had to pay extra on top. Or perhaps maybe I was just lucky and the customs officials didn't see uh, this package and open it. So I didn't pay any extra on top. Now, moving right along to the next bag that I have here is the order that I made online at yarn.com, otherwise known as Web, Web's Yarn. And here is the bag that it arrived in. I found the invoice for the Web's order and it was purchased way back in March, so March 11th, 2022, and it's been with me for a while. It's, it'd take around two weeks to get to me, and it's part of my birthday funds that I had back in March, and I purchased the same line of Malabrigo. Looking from the invoice here, they were actually discounting them anyway to $14.40, so really good value. I had purchased this color before and I have it in my collection and I wanted to make sure that I had enough of it for a pattern that I'm going to be working on and it is called Z 096 Sunset. Again it's in the same DK weight and this is like the solid color like the Matisse Blue with a little bit of speckling in there and heathered variety. So I do love this color a lot, so super squishy. And the next one I got was this one here called Wales Road, 247 is the number. 
and it's a slightly tonal blue. That could actually go, work really well with the Matisse blue here, this one that I've got. So we have one that's more solid and electric and one that is more faded blue. That would make a nice uh, pairing there. The next colour I got two of for a neutral base that could go with all other colours is the Peggy, which is 334. And this one is kind of a slight tonal, I will say it's more of a solid colour with a little bit of a different hint there of a stronger tint in it. And I got two of those. Super duper soft. I love them so much. When I received these, I thought these would make a really nice uh, vest. So I got a, toff a coffee toffee. And I purchased this order first. So chronologically, I'm doing it out of sync. But I purchased the web stuff first. And I got these two coffee toffees. And I thought I might not need another one to do a vest. So I purchased the one Hank from the sale that uh, Little Knits were having. So I, now I have three of these in my, in my collection to do something a bit bigger. But look at those colors. It feels wonderfully soft. I could wear this against my skin with no undergarments required. And Again, each of these hanks were $14.40 US cents. I also got one other one, which was, oh, excuse me a moment. It is called Car uh, Ch Charcus. And the number on that one is 45. I've rolled this up into a ball already. And it is a beautiful mossy green type with khaki in it. I love this color so much. And I picked a pattern up to start thinking about like knitting textures and type of feel for the yarn. And this is what I've purchased. It is called the Warm Shoulders Loop. And it has, it looks to me like it has uh, yarn overs, knit two togethers and uh, garter stitching as the um, types of stitch work in the knit pattern. And I did purchase this. It was $2 something that I purchased it from Ravelry and I'll link it down below. So I'm really eager to start with the Malabrigo that I purchased and use, use it with one color to begin with and see how it works up and how I enjoy it. So we'll be on the lookout for this in the not too distant future. The other things that were in that order, as I did mention, I got a few other goodies in the bag that weren't the Malabrigo. And I purchased a hank of Noro, and Noro is made in Japan. The ticketed price on here is $24.95, but on my Noro discounted price that I purchased, my invoice says it's $12.49. So that was a, a great savings there. I do believe that they're discontinuing this line. If I'm wrong, let me know in the, in the description box down below. But the line of this is called Tenen, T-E-N-N-E-N. -N -E -N. And the content of this wonderful yarn here is 50% wool, 25% silk, and 25% alpaca. It is considered a four weight, but it is a roving style yarn with a light twist. So it does go from thick to thin and it uh, is considered a four weight. I think I might have said that. Its color number is 58 and they're suggesting here a US 6 or a four millimeter to 4.5 millimeter set of kneading needles. You can hand wash this and also lay flat to dry. It is a yarn that is manufactured in Japan, 100%, uh, sorry, 100 grams, which gives me 250 meters. I absolutely love it. It does have a woolly feel to it. 
and it has a halo as well, which I believe might be the alpaca. So thinking of your, of your stitch work, maybe a um, larger needle, something that maybe your stitches aren't sort of like going back into, uh, create like bubble stitches or anything uh, bulky or tight in the sense of how the stitch is worked up uh, to avoid any issues with frogging. So yeah, really like the colors in here. There are some smoky grays. There are a little bit of blue and earth tone browns. So quite a variety of different styles of flecks of color in here as well. And a great discount as well. The other two things that I got in here, I wanted to try for the very first time because I've never had this yarn before. It's called Trendsetter Yarn and it's called Streaker. I don't know. <laughs> in Australia, we um, call streakers people who take their clothes off and run, a, run across, pub, you know, uh, in their birthday suits uh, on playing fields at sports arenas or whatever. Uh, so it kind of like makes me laugh when I read the title of this yarn here called Streakers or Streaker, I should say. And it's beautiful. I love the colors and I do love that there's a bit of a, a shine to it. It feels cool to the touch and the colors are just beautifully arranged. I don't know how they'll work up, whether they'll work up in uh, hard stripes or whether they will gently fade from one to the next but I'm thinking something very drapey like a shawl a large uh, set of knitting needles or crochet hook would work really nice with this and I'll talk to you about uh, one of the oh what we have here <laughs> the ingredients so the color is 101 no color name they are saying here to wash by hand in cold water with a mild soap or wash, washing liquid and place on a flat surface to dry. It is 50% bio cotton and 50% soy. Oh, made in Italy. 100 grams, 310 yards. It doesn't have the, the meters here. Metric might be around just under 300 uh, meters, but I've never had soy yarn before. I love the colors. Wow, I can't wait to try this one as well. So just checking on my web's invoice here, it's saying to me that the trendsetter, the streaker cakes that I got were in the colorway Desert Sunset and they were both $8.99 each US currency. And I have enough there to do a mini shawlette. I can't wait to try it. I'm thinking maybe crochet. I would love to see the stitches glimmering and shining in all those wonderful colors and how it fades from one to another. And I can uh, test them out to see whether there's a hard changing color or if it's a slow gradual. So be on the lookout for that in the next little while as well. I also got a little treat here that I should show is a promotional little keychain and it has the washing instructions on the back of all the different labels. So that's gonna come into handy. Thank you, Webs. Uh, that, I, I believe that's all that I had to show you in these two orders. Uh, bulk of it was Malabrigo, so I'm really interested in trying out that line of Malabrigo. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the yarn as much as I have, and I will let you go on with your day, and I will be back soon to do another video on some other yarn that I received in April and May. Bye for now.